Christmas is coming, and if you are looking for gift ideas that are sure to be winners, then you want to watch this video. This isn't just any old gift guide. I thought back through years of giving gifts and receiving gifts, and I picked out my favorites, things that have been hits, things that the people who receive them have enjoyed, things that I have enjoyed. I even crowdsourced this and asked for a few ideas from other friends and family members, and I have compiled a list of over 80 items, things for kids, things for adults, things that are fun, things that are practical. I'm telling you, there is something for everybody on this list. My kids are turning 10, 11, and 14 this year, so we are way past the baby and toddler years, but I do remember, even though they weren't super into toys when they were little, they were more about playing with people or playing outside. One thing that they played with a lot was this Fisher Price piggy bank, and the coins fit into it. They're different size coins. It makes some noises. I think it even has some instructions when they get older and they can understand like which ones to put in, if I'm remembering right. So that was a really popular toy. And then another Another one was this ball toy where you set the balls on top and then you use a hammer to tap them and they roll down through it and I was able to find something similar on Amazon so if you have younger kids you know toddler age those were some that were pretty popular with my kids when they were little as they got older a few toys that have been hits for us have been things like marble runs which is something that they can build and manipulate and change up my son also still enjoys playing with snap circuits if you've never seen these before they're little bitty pieces they all snap together and then they have like some little battery operated things you can run a current through and it'll like turn a fan or it will light up a light or something. And it comes with all of these instructions for how to build different contraptions using the snap circuits. A more advanced version of the marble run are the Gravitrax. And my son wasn't super into those, but my nephew was. So if you have a kid that's really into STEM or building stuff, then that might be a possibility. And those are something that you can add to because they're all different kinds of contraptions and sets. So you can like continue making Making those purchases for birthdays and Christmases, you know, kind of like Legos. We have hard floors downstairs, and this was something that was a big hit a few years back. It's a hover toy. It's almost like a flat soccer ball. You turn it on, and it kind of hovers, and they can kind of kick it around a little bit, and it, I think it's got like a rubber you know, um, ring around it so that it doesn't damage furniture or anything. It does make noise, but the kids really enjoyed playing with that when we had it. There are a lot of different options for drone toys. And I don't mean professional drones. I mean the kind that you would play with like in your own backyard or even in your own house. I've seen some that are as simple as being able to be controlled like with your hand and then some that are a little more advanced with remote controls. My son is getting one like that from his grandparents for his birthday. And for his birthday from us, he is getting a hex bug set. If you don't know what hex bucks are they're like these little bitty things about the size of a thumb and you flip them on they have like a little bitty battery in them and they'll kind of like roam around and the set we got them says three plus but it's a building set it's one where you can make tracks and different ways that the hex bugs can move around this this little set so if you're buying it for a three-year-old then the parents are going to be manipulating it and putting a lot of it together and the three-year-old's just going to be watching i would think i bought it for my 10 year old because he's really into building stuff like this i imagine that it's something that can be changed up according to the pieces that are in it and i think that he will really enjoy that so if you're interested i'll leave that link below if i can find it we tend to eat more at our dining room table our kitchen table is usually a place where we play a lot of games and where we do a lot of crafting and artwork. I say we, I mostly mean the children. And I know there are all kinds of crafting kits and art supplies and things that you can purchase for your kids, but some things maybe that you've forgotten about that have been really popular with our kids are things like shrinky dinks. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s like I did, you probably remember Shrinky Dinks. They still make them. They're still kind of fun, especially when kids experience them for the first time. It's a great snow day or rainy day activity and you can order them on Amazon. Another thing that I was not super into as a kid but that all three of my children have loved at different stages are perler beads. Those are the teeny tiny little beads and you stick them on a form and then you have a parent use an iron and like a little piece of paper you put over it, wax paper, and you iron it and they all stick together. If, you, if you've done these before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now these are not for little bitty kids because they're little bitty beads, but it's something that I really liked as a parent when my kids were doing because it was a quiet activity and a lot of times it took some focus and some time and it was something that would keep them entertained for 20 or 30 minutes, sometimes an hour at a time while they were doing the meticulous work of putting those perler beads on the little spikes. If you're gonna get markers, crayons, pencils, Fantastic, but might I recommend the scented markers, crayons, and pencils? They still have the Mr. Scent markers. I mean, I feel like that's the OG of scented markers, but I even found 
pencils that smell and I think they have, and I mean smell nice, and I think they even have crayons. I, I feel like that is such a novelty to kids and something that they really still enjoy. I purchased some of those items last year when I got my kids another practical gift that sort of falls into this category, personalized stationery. I went online through like a paper company and had something printed, but I actually had some notepads and some cards printed for myself from an Amazon seller recently. And it's something that can encourage them to send letters, to write thank you notes, and you can kind of jazz it up by putting some of those fun, you know, pens and pencils and crayons in them and encourage your kids to write letters. The kitchen table is also a place where we are probably working on Lego sets if we're doing Legos. And I know everybody knows about Duplos, everybody knows about Legos, but have you heard of Lego Dots? That is the thing that my kids, especially my girls, have been into the last few years, and there are all kinds of Lego Dot sets, and I think they're great for kind of that tween age. And it's been years, but something that my oldest daughter got for her birthday when she was about six or seven that we really enjoyed was a crystal growing kit. And that is not an instant gratification kit. It's something that they set up and then they have to watch. So it takes a little time to really enjoy what it is that it produces, but it's kind of neat. Sitting outside for a minute so we can talk about outdoor toys and ride-ons that my kids have really liked. These micro maxi scooters were a huge hit and they were ridden for years. They also make a mini version and they have lots of different colors. They have different bells and whistles on them like wheels that light up. Before we had the micro maxis we had globbers and I believe you can still purchase those and one of the things I liked about those is that you could purchase it so that it went from being a ride-on to being a stand-up scooter. When my kids were really little we had the Step 2 I think is the brand Coaster and it's something that you can actually set up inside if you have enough space. My kids like to play with it in the driveway and take advantage of our driveway that sloped downward <laughs> so they could ride it even farther. But it was something that was really fun and that they got use out of for several years. A couple of years ago, the hit of Christmas Day and beyond were these Easy Rollers. We got the biggest kind. They make several different sizes. We got the Drifter Pro X. We got two of them. And these are so popular that when kids would come over and play, they would all fight about who got to ride those. They're not electronic. You have to, you have to scoot them yourself, but highly recommend they've been great. And then last year, the ride on that we got were these Nighthawks by Roleplay. I have noticed that they've gone up in price quite a bit. They're a little bit pricey, but our kids have been riding them for a year. And another, another toy that a lot of kids enjoy playing with when they come to our house and some friends of ours have even purchased those for their kids because they enjoyed playing them so much here. A couple more outdoor ideas. We got a ladder ball set a few years ago that we really enjoyed playing with and these stomp rockets were something I purchased a few years back and I've noticed that those have been pretty popular and that they have lots of different kinds, different sizes. I think they even have a dueling kind now where you can you can stomp two rockets like two different people can play with it at the same time. I don't know how that one works but my kids enjoyed the ones that we had when we had them a few years ago. Let's talk about practical gifts for the kids in your life that are not clothes. A rite of passage on my side of the family for every grandkid was that on their first Christmas that they were one year old, they received one of these chairs from Pottery Barn, from the grandparents. And my kids wore those suckers out. I mean, we used them in bedrooms and playrooms and living rooms, and they got a lot of use. When they graduated from those little chairs, they got bean bags instead. So we threw the bean bags into the playroom when they were too big to sit in the little kids' chairs anymore. Another Pottery Barn purchase for them from grandparents were these sleeping bags. And for years, I would actually lay these sleeping bags over the top of their beds, like on top of their bedding, because it was way easier for me to clean that than it was to change out sheets and comforters and things like that. And they slept on those sleeping bags or in them with all their blankets and stuffies and pillows and stuff like that for years. Custom or monogrammed towels have been another really great gift. And if you're worried about giving something practical and having them be underwhelmed, a lot of times when I'm giving practical gifts, I'll add something to it that is a little more fun. So if you are giving towels, for instance, maybe you would also get some really fun bubble bath or some color changing tablets for the bath or some bath toys or something like that to sort of jazz up the gift and get them excited about it, but also get the parents excited that they're getting something that's, you know, really useful. Backpacks. No joke. Last year on my teenager's list was a Jan Sport backpack. 
which really took me back to my middle school days. Uh, super sturdy and just something that she asked for and that's practical and that she still gets a lot of use out of. Lunch boxes or lunch bags are another thing too that I've given to my kids at Christmas time or birthdays. These are the ones that my kids have been using for the past couple of years, my littles. And to go along with the lunch bags, different kinds of lunch containers. Sometimes I've gotten some things for packing like Lunchable style lunches or packing sandwiches or salads. I've also purchased thermoses before that they can use. And I know it might seem a little bit underwhelming, but you'd be surprised. Those things come in handy and they get excited about them. You can, you can even put something into it like a treat or a snack or a candy or something like that, that they could pack in their lunch in their new lunch bag or their new lunch container. Fun bedding is another one. I mentioned that we use the sleeping bags for years, but my kids also really like, you know, fun sheets or pillowcases. I know that a lot of people with younger kids swear by the Betty bedding, if that is still a thing. All of my kids have enjoyed Squishmallows, and I know that it's like a stuffed animal or a stuffy, and those can get out of control in our playrooms and in our kids' rooms, but the Squishmallows have been really enjoyable, and they are great for traveling with, especially in the car, so if your kid is into that, I see those go on sale a lot of times around November and December. If your kid is a cozy kid, they like to cuddle, and they probably like blankets, and I have purchased the mermaid tail blankets for my girls before, and then they had a shark version for my son, and they love to sit around and watch TV in those. They also really like the fleece blankets that you make by putting two pieces of fleece together, two large pieces of fleece together, and cutting three inch strips along either side, and then you tie the ends together. My kids have been through two sets of those from their grandmother. <laughs> They're actually on their second set because they wore the first ones out. Last year, I got all the kids daily calendars, like something fun that they could tear off. Maybe it had a cartoon or it had a saying or it had a dad joke or something on it. And that's another really useful gift that is consumable because it can be tossed at the end of the year. And I do have two swimmers in my family, but even my non-swimmer really likes Crocs. And they come in lots of different colors. They're usually available from kids who are little bitty all the way up to adults. They even have those little things that you can stick in them. I forget what they're called, but they're like little characters or little decorations that you can change out and change up for your Crocs. So the Crocs have always been um, a really popular and practical gift for us. Another really great practical gift for any person, any age, is a really good quality water bottle. I have already purchased several glass and stainless steel water bottles from Waterdrop. They are sponsoring today's video. They have absolutely beautiful products and they would make fantastic gifts. Waterdrop makes beautiful, glass and stainless steel water bottles. They come in a few different sizes. They come in lots of different colors and patterns. So there's something for everybody. They also make tumblers, which I have purchased as gifts before. And they also make kid friendly versions that have a spout top that you can screw onto the stainless steel water bottles that is leak proof. Water Drop also makes little water flavoring cubes that are sugar free. They're made from real plant and fruit extracts. They have them in all different flavors. They have an electrolyte version. They have an energy version that has caffeine. They're constantly introducing new flavors, it seems like. And this year they did something fun. They actually put those water drop cubes into an advent calendar that you can purchase. They also put out an advent calendar that includes lots of accessories and they sent me one and I'm so excited to open it up. I have had this for over a month and <laughs> it has taken a lot of willpower not to open it up. And I know it's not time yet, but I just have to see at least what the first one has inside of it. Ooh, it's a can. Candle. Oh, well, that's kind of fun. Ooh, it smells really good. I wonder what the scent is for this. Yummy. Okay, just one more. I'm like that kid on Christmas Eve, you know? <laughs> just one more, just one more, just one more. Let's see. Ooh, it's some water drops. Oh, yeah. Coconut pineapple. I love pina colada flavored things, so I'm going to put one of these in my water right now. That one's good. The coconut pineapple. Highly recommend. That's delicious. Between now and December 3rd, make sure that you visit the Water Drop website. It's linked in the description box below. During that time, they're going to be running a lot of specials. Discounts up to 50% off, buy one, get one deals, freebies. Plus, you can get an extra 10% off your order at checkout when you use my code CMINDYMOM. Again, Water Drop, it's linked in the description box below, an extra 10% off using my code CMINDYMOM. And thank you again to Water Drop for sponsoring today's video. This year, my oldest daughter asked for a pair of 
custom embroidered high tops for her birthday. And we found these on Etsy and I couldn't find the original seller that I purchased her pair from, but there are still lots of options. You can kind of peruse that. If you have a kid who likes those kinds of shoes and hopefully their foot is done growing, they're kind of pricey, but I will say that it was a really unique gift that she has continued to use and enjoy and she gets lots of compliments on them. Two other things that are common gifts for my teenage daughter right now are hair accessories, especially those claw clips that are very popular and also Kendra Scott jewelry. That's a, I don't know if that's a thing everywhere in the country, but it's definitely a thing where we are. I wear a lot of Kendra Scott myself and since she got her ears pierced a couple of years ago, she's kind of working on her collection. So I usually add to it at Christmas and birthdays. If you have a person in your life who really likes iced coffees, like from Dunkin' and Starbucks and they come in the plastic cups, these neoprene cup sleeves, I think are really cute and make a great gift. And I did not include a lot of clothing items or really any clothing items on this list, but I have been carrying this little crossbody bag that I got from Amazon. I get a lot of compliments on it. I think it's really cute. A couple of years back, my husband purchased one of these iPad lap desk holder type things for his mom. And funny story, when it came time to give it to her, we couldn't find it. And I can't remember if we reordered it. I need to ask him because if we didn't give that to her, we need to get one of those. But if you have a person who like is an iPad or an e-reader user, then it could be a really practical and fun gift for them. When I told my husband I was making this video, the very first thing that he mentioned was this item. I know it sounds crazy, but it is a toilet light that is motion sensitive. So if you are getting up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and you don't want to turn on the lights and you know, if you are our age or older and you're getting up in the middle of the night, you really don't want to wake yourself up that much. You can walk into the bathroom and this comes on with like a red or a blue or a green type light. So it's not super bright and you won't have to turn on the lights to go to the bathroom. I my husband loves this thing. He has said it's one of the best gifts that he has ever received. So take that for what it's worth. My dad is a person who builds things and he is often asking for tools and tool accessories. And one Christmas I got him this little thing you wear on your wrist that's magnetic so it can hold like screws and bolts and nails and things like that. And I've also got him this handy gadget, which is a flashlight, but it also has a magnet on the other end. So if you drop something like behind a workbench, it's really convenient for reaching that without having to like crawl underneath. If you have a soccer mom or a baseball mom or a swim mom, or just, you know, a sports parent in your life, do they have a bog? a bog bag. It is a silicone bag, so it's waterproof. It's easy to clean. I see women at the ballpark at the aquatic center with these all the time. They're a little bit pricey, but supposedly they're like practically indestructible. So if you know somebody who needs one of those and doesn't have one, there's an option. And these are definitely on the pricier end, but another thing that's pretty popular, especially for the outdoor sports parents are the under the weather pods. You know, if you're going out to watch a soccer game in the rain or maybe even in the cold or the wind, you can basically zip yourself up in this clear tent and be protected from the weather and still get to watch everything. I almost forgot, and this is a really good one. I crowdsourced this question to a few friends and family members, and one of them recommended this travel jewelry case. It's not just a bag that you dump all your jewelry in so it gets all tangled up and difficult to find. You can actually organize your necklaces, your rings, your bracelets, your earrings, so that they don't get all bunched together and they you know, stay organized while you travel. We are a family that enjoys games and puzzles, and if that is something that you are looking for suggestions, I got you covered. We're sitting here right by my cabinets where I keep this kind of stuff. And over the years, we have collected some favorites. Where card games are concerned, this was a favorite of ours and I've held on to it for when we have younger cousins and friends who are visiting, it's called Sleeping Queens. And then another really great starter card game for young ones is called Rat Attack Cat. When our kids graduated from Rat Attack Cat, we picked up this one, it's Sky Joe. I've mentioned this before, it's a favorite card game. It travels easily, it's super easy to learn, but even adults enjoy playing this. And it does involve some strategy as well as just being your, you know, kind of traditional luck style card game. Where board games are concerned, my kids were very partial to sorry and can i recommend springing for a retro version i feel like the board and the pieces and the cards are just a little bit sturdier than the really inexpensive ones that they'll put on sale super cheap if you don't have a checker reg i think that is a really great investment that was something that uh, we had when my fifth grade classroom and we used to fight over who got to play with the checker rug when we were done with our reading work they also really enjoyed this balancing barnyard toy and it's something 
that can be completed or solved different ways so you never really run out of options for how to play it. And speaking of games that encourage strategy, this Three Little Pigs game is super fun. It's one of those problem solving games where you set up the board a certain way and then you have to move the pieces around to be able to solve the puzzle. There are easy puzzles, medium puzzles, hard puzzles included, highly recommend. And when our kids had graduated from that Three Little Pigs critical thinking style game, a couple that we picked up that were along those same lines but a little bit more advanced were Othello and Mastermind. And Mastermind is a little bit like Battleship. If so, if your kid likes Battleship, they might really like that Mastermind game. And it is a game that has been around for several decades because I remember playing it when I was a kid. The checker rug was great when our kids were younger, but we got to this point where we'd get at a stalemate because our kids were advanced enough that uh, we'd end up like tying each other playing checkers. And that was when we discovered the game Otrio. The best way to describe this game is it's like tic-tac-toe meets chess. So it's definitely more complicated than tic-tac-toe. It involves a lot of thinking. That's a common theme with the games that we pick up for our children if you haven't already noticed, or the games that we enjoy playing as a family. But if you haven't tried Otrio and you have, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten year old who seems a little bit more advanced in their game playing, then I think that's a great one. Rummy Cube was another great game that we we pulled out when our kids kind of hit that eight to nine year old range and they were ready for a little more advanced games. And then another one that I know is pretty popular in elementary classrooms is Blockus. Now that does have little pieces inside the game and it is really easy to lose those little pieces. So if you have really young ones in the house, you might want to wait on that one, but we've thoroughly enjoyed that one. We have been through two sets of five crowns cards. That's how much we enjoy playing this card game, five crowns. And we also have both the original wizard card game and we have the two player version of wizard. That's how much my family enjoys playing this one. Although they'll tell you that I, this is not my favorite, but they love it. And if you're a board game person and you're my age, you've probably played Catan, right? Settlers of Catan and our kids have really enjoyed learning how to play that when they got into like the 10, 11 year old range. Although our son, even when he was seven or eight could play that game. And another game similar, you know, it takes a while to play that my family really enjoyed is called Dominion. And I've actually shown that a couple of times in videos that I've produced. If I'm making cooking videos, sometimes my husband and the kids are sitting at the kitchen table playing that game. What I love about Sequence is that it's a game that can be played with just two players. You can play it with three players. You can play it with four players because you can play as a team, but sometimes it's hard to find two player games that are fun, even for adults. And if you're looking for a game that is fun for groups, especially if you have older kids or adults who are coming to visit and you want to have a team game that can, you know, um, cater to a lot of people, I highly recommend Code Names. And they make so many different versions of this. They do make some kid-friendly versions that are that use pictures instead of words, like a Disney Code Names. And I think they have some other themed versions of the game. We just like the original, and it's one of those games that really gets you thinking and it can spark a lot of conversation. You didn't think we were getting out of this video without some gift ideas for the kitchen, did you? I mean, I've got a lot of favorite products, stuff that I mention a lot in videos, but some things that I definitely wanted to highlight for this one. If the person you are purchasing for is a grown-up and they have a kitchen and they do not have a crock pot what are you waiting for <laughs> this is my favorite basic crock pot this is my favorite multi-function crock pot that i'm using actually right now to make checks mix over on the counter but they make slow cookers in all different sizes with lots of different bells and whistles they make them in all different colors it seems like a lot of celebrity Kitchen lines have a specific crock pot and you'll see a lot of those going on sale around Black Friday and even in the weeks after. So you can probably get a good deal on one. My husband really likes those big ice cubes that you get in cocktails in restaurants and you can buy silicone molds that will make those. The square ones are the ones that we have, but I've even seen some molds that will allow you to make the round ones. It's a little trickier with that one, but if you've got a person who enjoys those kinds of drinks and or you notice that they order them when you go out and they don't have one of those ice molds, it's a way Way to make that special kind of ice cube at home. My husband also really, really likes his Thermapen. It is this meat thermometer that's digital. He uses it all the time when he grills. I use it when I cook too. And I think you can find some that are similar on Amazon. You also know that I really love my meat chopper slash separator tool. I've had some people tell me that you can find these at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them at mine. I picked mine up at Target and I've also ordered some on Amazon and put those along with other gifts too as an accessory. This little rotary chopper 
stopper is something that you've seen in some of my videos before and what I love about it is that it doesn't have to be plugged in it's manual it's small and all of the pieces can fit in the dishwasher it's enough to chop up very quickly like an onion or some cloves of garlic and it's just a lot more convenient than pulling out a big food processor my dad made for me a beautiful charcuterie board but if you are not handy you can purchase custom charcuterie boards or cutting boards you can get those on Etsy I think a lot of people make those so it's an idea for the person in your family that likes that kind of thing and doesn't have one you see me holding these in almost every video they're the Yeti coffee mugs I like the bigger size and you can purchase the plain ones at I think Academy and Dick Sporting Goods this one was purchased for me by my husband years ago and he got it from a place that did the custom stamping but if you've got a coffee drinker in your life I'm telling you those things are amazing also for the coffee drinker in your life a couple of gadgets that I have that I really like are my little milk frother if you don't want to buy a, a machine to make lattes or to you know steam and froth the milk if it's not something that's included on the machine that you have you can actually buy just a little standalone milk frother I've used mine all the time to make lattes at home and last spring I purchased a little mini version of a mocha pot I got the Bioletti brand and um, that makes a fantastic espresso when you learn how to use it correctly so if you've got a coffee connoisseur that's getting more into like the ground coffees that might be an option for them I mentioned Rada in a recent video. Good Quality Cutlery makes a fantastic gift for the cook in your life. I gave several of these items as gifts to family members last year. These are the knives that I use. So I will leave a little bit about Rada linked in the description box below, but I'll be making another video in December that features this brand a little bit more. When my kids were little, I used to look for really fun kids' plates and cutlery and cups and things like that. Again, something that's really useful and practical, but that they enjoy getting and look forward to using when it's mealtime. This popcorn popper, I've mentioned it so many times in so many different videos. There are lots of different silicone popcorn poppers available that makes it easy to make popcorn just from kernels and then you can you know, season it or oil it however you like. I have given these really great canvas grocery bags before as gifts and a lot of times I will fill them with some groceries with some of my favorite things. Maybe some canned goods or some items to make one of my favorite recipes, stick the recipe card in there. Maybe some pantry staples like seasonings or something like that that they can use to fill up their kitchen. And then a couple of recommendations from friends. An electric wine opener. I don't have one myself. I'm kind of interested in that. If you have one, you can leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like it. And I thought this little tabletop campfire was really interesting as well. That was recommended by a friend. She said they really enjoy using that. It creates just a really fun ambiance, but I think some people also use them to do like tabletop s'mores. I have one more thing that was recommended by somebody that they have really enjoyed, but I don't want to say it on camera because I think it's what I'm getting my husband for Christmas. So I will just leave a little note linked in the description box below because while he watches my videos, I think I can trust him not to scroll through the description box to see what it is that I'm looking for for him. Don't forget about subscriptions. I mean, how many subscription services are there out there these days, especially subscription boxes that make fun gifts that keep giving all year long? I've worked with FabFitFun. I think that's one that's geared more towards women. It has like fashion and home goods and beauty and stuff like that in it. I've also worked with KiwiCo, which is an activity subscription service for kids. You can check that out. But even something as simple as a magazine subscription can be super fun, especially for kids. My children had subscriptions to Highlights magazines when they were little and they really enjoyed that and it was something special that they got to look forward to coming in the mail which is so rare these days. I will track down as many links as possible and leave them in the description box below for some of the items that I have mentioned and of course don't forget to check out Water Drop. They're linked down below as well and let me know what gifts have you received that have been your favorites? What gifts have you given that have been winners? Leave me a comment. You may be helping me out. You may be helping another viewer out by giving some ideas. 